Hello, welcome Namkele Kile Reala Mohela. My name is Professor Mamkheti Pakeng and I'm the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Town. Among the many leadership duties I have on campus, my favorite one is being deputy mother to all our amazing students at the top ranked university in Africa. We are always looking for the best young talent to nurture into leaders of the future. Applications to UCT opened on the 1st of May and I encourage you to apply. Our goal as a university is to unleash human potential to create a fair and just society. COVID-19 has been difficult for everyone. You are probably wondering how it may affect your university education. You need to know that UCT's teaching and learning was already changing before the pandemic. We are incorporating the best new methods that can help you succeed at university. More importantly, these methods can help you prepare for how the world will be working in the future. There are many ways you can find out more about UCT. For instance, you can visit our webpage, browse in our new sections for updates, check out our videos on the UCT YouTube channel, watch podcasts of our public lectures and events like graduations, check out what the faculty say about the many different programs of study on offer. I suggest that you check out UCT's Vision 2030 to find out how we plan to help lead the many changes that will happen because of the fourth industrial revolution. As a potential future student at UCT, you can start thinking now about the kind of world you want to help create. You can connect to the destination UCT WhatsApp line for news and information about UCT. Just add this number on your contact list on WhatsApp and type hi and choose from the pop-up menu. Every faculty office is ready to help you find out what you need about the program of study you are interested in. So feel free to contact them with your questions. Our career services offers a range of services to help students to plan their careers and prepare for the world of work. Visit their website to see what they can offer you when you come to UCT. Now I want to introduce you to the leaders who work so hard to make UCT such a special place for students. We'll start with the other members of the UCT executive who helped me make the decisions that affect the whole campus university. Hello to all the prospective UCT students. It's very good to have this opportunity to connect with you. My name is Royston Pillay. I'm the registrar of the University of Cape Town and UCT is also my alma mater. My role as registrar extends to looking after various aspects of the university's processes, broadly covering legal services, institutional governance, and what may be particularly relevant to you as prospective students are the functions of academic administration, as this relates to student recruitment, to admissions, to enrollment, to registration, to exams, and to graduation. We, of course, strive to make the student experience of UCT's support outside of the classroom as meaningful as the academic experience inside the classroom. A little bit of information about me. I studied at UCT in the faculties of Humanities and Commerce. I've been at UCT as a staff member for 24 years, and in the six years as a registrar of this institution, I've signed around 25,000 student graduation certificates. I also uh, enjoy sport, I enjoy current affairs, and I enjoy futures thinking. Now, with regard to thinking about the future, I recall a story of a speech made by a retiring staff member when he spoke the following words. When I was young, my teachers were old and they told me about the past. But now that I am old, my teachers are young and they tell me about the future. As prospective students of UCT, I look forward to learning from you and to getting a deeper insight into that future. Best wishes and good luck. Thank you. Hello, I am Professor Lange, Associate Professor Lange. I am the DBC responsible for teaching and learning at the university. And that means that it is my daily job to make sure that all the degrees that are offered at undergraduate level at the university are of high quality and, and they are delivered in a way that makes us proud and that make our students and graduates proud. 
Um, as you probably realize immediately, I am not South African. I was born in Argentina. I've been in South Africa for 30 years and I've been working in the higher education system for a long time. And I'm very proud of being part of the team at, at UCT. One of the extraordinary things of being at the university like UCT is that we have the opportunity of looking at the quality of education from a number of different dimensions. We look at the quality of education from the point of view of providing an equitable student experience for all our students. Um, we look at the quality of, of, of education from the point of view of how fast and how well our students graduate. And we look at the quality of education by understanding the interface between the actual academic program and a number of other things that the students can do in terms of developing their ability for leadership, uh, for entrepreneurship and, and, and for thinking uh, individually and for committing themselves to society. Uh, it is part of my job to work with the faculties. The six faculties of the university report to me as, the, as, as does the business school, the graduate business school and the Center for Higher Education Development, uh, which is the greatest uh, support that we have uh, for innovating in the area of teaching and learning. In the last two years, UCT has demonstrated an extraordinary capacity for innovation in teaching and learning. And we are very proud of being one of the universities that has the highest success rate in the country, which at this stage is 85%. So I really hope that all of you are going to want to come to this extraordinary place in which you will have amazing teachers who are great scientists, uh, extraordinary opportunities for debates, for developing your own capabilities for critique, for entering into important national debates and professional debates. And I will set you up well in order to find employment and to be a very useful and responsible citizen for our country and for your country if you come from elsewhere. So welcome to UCT, come to us. Hello, my name is Martin Hall. I'm Emeritus Professor at the University of Cape Town and I rejoined UCT in an acting capacity as Deputy Vice Chancellor for Transformation earlier this year and it's a pleasure to be back at UCT. My responsibility is transformation and student affairs and this falls into six broad areas at the University of Cape Town. First of all, I'm responsible for optimizing student access to the university and that's about diversity and inclusion and welcoming students to UCT who are truly representative of our country and the demographics of our country. And one of my responsibilities is to try and create the best possible environment for that. I have a similar responsibility for trans staff transformation and that's about really creating environments where we create a situation where the very best teachers professional administrators and support people can come and work for us who are themselves truly representative of South Africa as a country. And that's an ongoing project of transformation that UCT has been involved in now for many years. Beyond that, I'm concerned with places and spaces. How do we create a campus that is truly welcoming? How do we create a campus that's a pleasure to be at? How do we create a campus that expresses the creativity of our students, the creativity of our staff? How do we build into the future, expressing the country South Africa has become, both within the Western Cape and within South Africa, but also, of course, in the whole of the world, because UCT is a world recognized university and we stand as a symbol for what South Africa is and what South Africa aspires to be. Moving on to my other areas of responsibility, we have significant support structures in place to deal with questions of discrimination, harassment and violence, an unfortunate side of life in any country, including here in South Africa and the University of Cape Town. <clears throat> and those who report to me in that role are responsible for making students feel safe at study, at work and on our campus here in Cape Town. I have an interest in community partnerships. We're a university in Cape Town, in Greater Cape Town, in the Western Cape and in South Africa. 
How do we build our role as a public institution that truly speaks to those responsibilities, that reaches out across Greater Cape Town, an area of three and a half million people, such that we feel part of the city and the city feels part of us? That was very evident to us earlier this year in response to the catastrophic fire that hit the campus, where we were overwhelmed by the support from our city, from people who see the university on the side of the mountain. That reinforced for all of us our connections with Cape Town and connections with all of our communities, whoever they are. Looking ahead and seeing this in the context of our Vision 2030, the university we want to become, my responsibility is to help make the University of Cape Town a place which is ever inclusive and a pleasure to be at, so that all of our students can become the best versions of themselves, realize their potential through their time with us, and create a very strong foundation for their future lives. So I hope to meet some of you here at the University of Cape Town and welcome. Hello, everybody. I'm Sue Harrison. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research and Internationalization at the University of Cape Town. My portfolio has four components, research, innovation, postgraduate students, and internationalization. The research portfolio is around generating new knowledge at UCT. Currently, our focus on new knowledge allows us to address the grand challenges that are facing our world at the moment. We do this both through developing deep fundamental knowledge that we can bring to bear on the subjects and through interdisciplinary action where we bring together researchers of different disciplines to address these grand challenges and find solutions or a deeper understanding of the issues facing our world currently. This links both technical and social aspects and the and through um, bringing together these groupings, we're able to be really agile to be addressing new projects at different times. This leads into the space of innovation. Here we're taking new knowledge towards implementation. This could be societal in innovation or technical innovation. In technical innovation, we're looking at, at spin out companies, at creating new companies that can use the knowledge we've generated for new products and new processes to do new things and to build the economy. In the postgrad space, there are really two approaches that, that we use, two kinds of postgraduate degrees. The first are taught degrees, which are, are generating specialist or, or translating specialist knowledge to our students. And the second is our research degrees, where we're building the research savvy of our students and at the same time generating new knowledge. So one of the key things that we are asking at the moment is how does this, new, this move from being knowledge in the thesis or on the shelf to knowledge in action? And it's one of the things that we are really working strongly on at the moment. And the fourth area is that of internationalization. Here we're looking both to bring international students to UCT to learn about our context and our environment, and also to share their experiences with our students at home, but also for UCT students to experience other places, either through traveling there on exchange programs or through virtual exchange, something that we're looking at more and more in the aftermath of the pandemic and looking at ways that internationalization can happen with less um, travel, less long haul flights and less impact on the climate. So a little bit about me to, to end up with. Prior to taking the position of Deputy Vice Chancellor, I've been a research professor at UCT over a long period. And my interest in both um, engineering, chemical engineering and, and bioprocesses are at the moment focused strongly on how we can improve resource efficiency. In other words, how we can use those resources that we need to use from our Earth to create more value for the human race, while at the same time creating less waste. Um, this leads us into really interesting and innovative uh, nature motivated, nature inspired processes and uh, process engineering. I uh, look forward to seeing many of you on campus and um, I'd like to also add in there that one of the things we're really excited about doing is introducing our undergraduate students to the research questions that we're asking at UCT and so allow you to begin to wrestle with these and wrestle with how you would tackle them, um, contributing to our new knowledge too. Thanks very much. I'm Dr. Rina Mora, the Chief Operating Officer at UCT. I look after four key areas of operations, the departments of finance, human resources, IT, which connects you as students and staff to the university, and the Department of Properties and Services. I'm also the chair of the COVID Coordinating Committee of the University, 
which ensures your health and safety as students, as well as staff. I'm lucky enough to be the father of two sons, both of whom have graduated from UCT. And I really would like you to be part of the UCT family. Thank you. To run smoothly, a university the size of UCT relies on top professional expertise. Here are more experts who sit on the UCT's leadership lakhuta. Dr. Linda Mtwisha manages the research office, which supports the work we do that brings positive change to our world. Ms. Gerda Kruger heads up the communications and marketing department, which sends out UCT news across campus and to the world. Mr. Puram Golomban oversees your needs through the Department of Student Affairs, including student governance and our many student societies, sports clubs, volunteer and leadership opportunities. Mr. Hadi Maritz runs our finance department, including student financial aid. Ms. Maryam Hussein leads UCT's human resources department, looking after the staff who serve you and the university. And Mr. Richard Van Hastia heads up our information and technology services, keeping UCT cyber secure and connected to the global network. Mr. Mukhtar Parker directs the many different functions and properties, properties of properties and services to keep the campus running smoothly. And Ms. Ujala Sadgur directs UCT libraries, which is an essential resource for anyone who needs to be informed and think critically. Now I will hand you over to the deans of UCT's faculties and the director of our graduate school of business who will introduce themselves. Hello, grade 12 students. I'm Professor Linda Ronnie, Dean of the Faculty of Commerce at the University of Cape Town. One of the things I like most about being the Dean is connecting with students, including prospective students like all of you. You may be wondering how I got here. Well, I started my career in the manufacturing environment and I continued to work there for 15 years in various roles before joining UCT. Being at UCT gave me the opportunity to share my knowledge and experience. One of the reasons I became the Dean is that it enabled me to practice what I had been teaching and to create a learning environment to the betterment of all, staff and students. Importantly, I wanted to ensure students were receiving an education that prepared them for the work environment, yet also prepared them sufficiently to change that environment and to work for the betterment of the country and the continent. Even though applying for a place at university can be stressful, try to bear in mind that this is an exciting first step of your journey. We teach the technical skills you need in your chosen career, but the most important things you will learn are how to think critically, to be innovative and be a team player. One of the things I love most about commerce is seeing the interesting things our students and graduates end up doing. Some recent examples include a graduate who was listed on Forbes Africa 30 for starting a business called Cape Crops, which supplies South African fruit and vegetables to 25 countries around the world. Another got into the Mail and Guardian a list of 200 young South Africans as co-founder of two tech startups, Lockdown Boza and Job Matcher. And one of our students was named a winner of the 2020 Reimagine Challenge for developing Foodprint, a digital produce logging platform for smallholder farmers. When you think about these examples, remember that all were also young students, uncertain and wondering what to study a few years ago. Of course, I hope that you'll decide to join Commerce. But no matter what degree you choose, remember, it will take you down an interesting and changing and challenging path during your life. One that you might not even be able to imagine now. And that is the most exciting part. We look forward to welcoming you at the University of Cape Town. Hello, 
My name is Professor Alison Lewis, and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment, or EBE. This means that I'm the head of the faculty, officially having academic, programmatic, managerial, and fiscal responsibility for EBE. Essentially, it means I lead the faculty, but also give input to the university as a whole. There are six departments in the faculty. These include civil, chemical, electrical, and mechanical engineering, architecture, planning, and geomatics, as well as construction economics and management. One of the best parts of the job of Dean is welcoming first years when they sign up at the beginning of their degrees, and of course, celebrating graduations at the end. Our EBE projects involve everything from designing a replacement roof for a community center, to water treatment, design of medical equipment, blasting and blowing up things, as well as alternative energy solutions. Many of our graduates have won prizes and developed exciting startups like Aerobotics, Impulse Biomedical, Jonga, a local security device, and so much more. I run my own research group, which does research in the field of crystallization and precipitation. One of our most exciting projects has been to freeze wastewater and make ice, in other words, pure water that can be reused. Outside of work, I like what is called wild swimming in the UK. Here we just call it swimming. I've recently learned to surf and free dive, and I'm working on my foraged seaweed recipes. We are looking for young, energetic minds to solve the mega problems of the day, and I look forward to welcoming you to the faculty. Thank you. Greetings to all of you who are considering coming to UCT for your studies. I'm Lionel Green-Thompson, I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences and my role here in the faculty is really to ensure that you learn what you're supposed to learn in an environment that is conducive to your learning. So our aim at the faculty is really to build a community of compassion, of humility and of justice. So what about the faculty? This faculty is the highest ranked faculty in South Africa for the Health Sciences. We boast amongst our alumni, um, Nobel Prize winners. We have multiple research units doing cutting edge research across a range of areas. But most importantly, for you who are considering a journey into higher education, we train students in eight different professional programs. And part of that, the, the benefit of our programs is that we train across a variety of contexts. Students go to Friedenberg in the west coast of, of the Western province of the Western Cape, but they go as far afield as George to engage in learning amongst communities across these areas. My own journey to UCT is, that, is an interesting one. I started off in a very small town in KwaZulu Natal. I did emergency medicine for a little while where I drove a response car, very thrilling activity as a, as a doctor. I then went on to specialize in anesthetics. And now, at this time of my life, I'm focusing on education, but particularly the kind of education that is socially accountable, that allows us to produce graduates that respond to the needs of the people of South Africa. I really look forward to your joining us. So come and join me here in the faculty so that we can turn you into health professionals for the 21st century, which make a difference in the lives of people. My name is Shose Kesi and I am the Dean of the Faculty of Humanities at the University of Cape Town. I am trained as a social psychologist and I started working at UCT in 2011 as a lecturer in the Department of Psychology. And since then I've held several roles in the institution, including being Deputy Dean for Transformation in the faculty and I was appointed as Dean in 2019. The Humanities faculty is a very special place to be. It is the space where we engage critically with philosophical and ethical questions about human life, humanity, our humaneness, and being in South Africa in particular less than 30 years after the dismantling of apartheid makes these questions even more exciting and challenging and brings into sharp focus the need for a transformative and social justice approach. My role as Dean is to implement UCT's Vision 2030 in the Faculty of Humanities. The humanities offers a lot of scope to implement a vision like this because our disciplines by their very nature demand critical thinking, encourage social engagement, 
and give our students a broad understanding of the world that shaped them and that will shape generations to come. To be at the helm of this faculty during such a time of transformation is exciting. Since the world's most full movement appeared, we have been given unprecedented opportunities to make our work more Pan-African, to decolonize our curriculum and make it more responsive to our needs as an African society, and to make our mark as an intellectual powerhouse in the mission to realize a just society for all. I am proud to say that the humanities experience at UCT prepares students well for life as a global citizen who can coexist and engage with the world. There is nowhere else I'd rather be. I am originally from Tanzania, from the Kilimanjaro region, and so being in Cape Town and in the mountains, around the mountains of the Western Cape is like being at home for me. I've also traveled extensively and I continue to be passionate about traveling on this continent in particular, uh, building relationships, ties, both personally and for my own work. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to welcoming the new cohort of students in 2022. My name is Danwood Chirwa. I'm a professor of public law and dean of the Faculty of Law. My area of specialization is human rights in general, especially in children's rights, economic and social and cultural rights, business and human rights. I've been in the faculty for about 17 years now. I'm responsible as dean for the overall functioning of the faculty, including ensuring that we attract talented young men and women in the country to our LLB program, providing a memorable and enjoyable learning experience for students and producing the best lawyers in the country and in Africa. I'm also responsible for raising funds to support our students and connecting students with the legal profession. Some of the interesting facts about the faculty include that we are the oldest and best law faculty on the continent, with the first formal lecture having been delivered in April 1859. So we are talking about 162 years of history, of legal training, of training lawyers, attorneys, judges, and legal advisors in the country and in Africa. We have some of the leading scholars on the continent who produce cutting edge research and are involved in the teaching of undergraduate students. Our graduates and alumni serve as leading lawyers in practice, in government service, in international organizations, and in civil society. Some have served and continue to serve in the courts in South Africa and beyond, including in the superior courts such as the Supreme Court of Appeal and the Constitutional Court. Please consider applying for admission to UCT Law. This will give you an opportunity of working with leading academics and some of the best students in the country and in Africa. Thank you. Hello, my name is uh, Professor Mano Ramutsindera, the Dean of the Faculty of Science. Being the Dean of Science at UCT, it's an opportunity and an honor to nurture new scientists, work with established scholars and research units to take the faculty to new heights. It is also an opportunity to harness the diversity of talent and experiences for impactful research in the broader society. It gives me a rare opportunity to be part of the bigger project of science and technology in South Africa and beyond. The science faculty at UCT is a major contributor to cutting edge, globally competitive and locally relevant research. Our academic staff are active researchers, with many being internationally recognized and having international links with researchers across the world. Two of our alumni won Nobel Prizes. Growing up in the villages of Limpopo, I tried my talent in singing, photography, and playing football. And my friends will tell you that I was good at this. The challenges I faced as part of society inspired me to want to know more about the world 
and to do something about my life. I never dreamt that one day I will be recognized as a champion of the transformation of the science cohort in South Africa. As a voice of African geographers in leading international journals in my field, and as a De Humphrey Distinguished Professor in the United States, as the first human geographer to receive the President's Award from the National Research Foundation, and of course, the first of many other areas of academic life. I've come to realize that nothing can take away your talent if you keep focused. I can't wait to welcome you in the science faculty in 2022. Hello, my name is Catherine Duggan and I'm the director of the Graduate School of Business at UCT, otherwise known as the UCT GSB. We offer postgraduate degrees in business from our beautiful campus on the Victoria and Albert waterfront. Although I grew up in the US and I've taught at business schools in the US, Europe and Africa, I've actually spent the past 20 years living and doing research on the continent, including in more than 24 different African countries. What makes the UCT GSB so special is that it's a distinctly African business school with global reach. The Financial Times this year ranked our MBA as among the 100 best in the world, and we're the only African business school ever to make that list. The FT also ranked our MBA as 12th in corporate social responsibility and 14th in international course experience. The UCT GSB is a place where people are thinking about the most challenging and interesting problems of the 21st century. Our faculty and students are working together to think about new ways that business and society can create a better future. I look forward to welcoming you to UCT and to the GSB. Hello, all prospective UCT students. It's good to e-meet you. My name is Alan Cliff, and I'm the Interim Dean of the Centre for Higher Education Development, or CHED. CHED works with all other faculties to ensure that we as a university do the best we can at best practice teaching and learning and curriculum delivery. Our focus is on making your experience as a student as supported and informative as possible. I've been at UCT for about 25 years now, and I'm proud to be associated with the faculty and its work. In my spare time, I love walking around the beautiful UCT upper campus, enjoying the views. I also love reading, watching movies and traveling overseas, which we can't do right now. We work very hard with all our colleagues in the faculties to develop teaching and learning in both face-to-face -face and online and blended modes. We contribute to student development, staff development and curriculum development activities at the university. And we constantly strive to ensure that teaching and learning design, student academic development and support and support for staff in their teaching are based on best practices nationally and internationally, are innovative and give students the best possible chance of success through hard work and positive motivation. CHED has been in existence at UCT for more than 20 years now and is one of the foremost such centres in the country. We are very proud of what we've achieved over these years and are also really pleased at the way we've supported teaching and learning during the COVID pandemic. We are very much looking forward to continuing our work as a modern, responsive and research-led faculty in years to come. The faculty has five departments and a dean's office to support you and the university. You may already have heard of our internationally and nationally lauded careers service. Some of you may already have met some of the staff at the careers service. The Centre for Innovation in Learning and Teaching, SILT, last year won the Vice Chancellor's Award for Service Excellence to the University for its support of online learning and teaching and for its superb work in data and learning analytics to inform interventions needed at systems levels to enhance student learning. The Academic Development Programme has been in existence at UCT since the 1980s. Their main focus is on ensuring that students from a diverse range of school backgrounds get the necessary support and curriculum pathways that give them the best chance of success in their studies. The Centre for Educational Assessment, CEA, designs assessments that help the university to better understand the learning needs of students starting their undergraduate careers. Finally, 
the School for Design Thinking, or D-School, is one of the leading international schools running programs in innovative thinking and solving real world problems. Do look out for their programs if you become a student at UCT. We are really looking forward to welcoming you to UCT and CHED in the near future. This is where you can apply online to join us in UCT's 2022 academic year. This is an important step and I encourage you to take it. At UCT, we want to help you to not only change your own life, but to see how you can change the world that you live in. Whether you want to make a positive difference in your business, your community, your country or the world, UCT can give you the skills, the knowledge and the tools to make it happen. An important part of your education will be just to meet the people who are leaders in their field and to work alongside them. Everybody at UCT has an interesting story to tell. Becoming a UCT student will help you create your own interesting story. So please open the website and start completing your UCT application today. Remember, all applications need to reach us with all the necessary attachments by the 31st of August, 2021. We are looking forward to hearing from you.